Motorcycle horns are sad. Because they're so weak, they really don't do a very good job of moving traffic out of your way or even letting wayward drivers know that you're there. This is the solution. It's a Denali sound bomb. It's 120 decibels of Escalade splitting power. That's four times more powerful than a standard motorcycle horn. It's a very effective piece. Now, the one-piece sound bomb is a great product, but it doesn't fit all bikes. So our solution is the two-piece. Basically the same components separated into a compressor and a horn assembly that you can mount anywhere on the bike. Gives you a lot more flexibility when the packaging is really tight or if you want to take one of these components and stuff it up under a piece of the fairing. On our CB500X here, our goal is to get the uh, compressor up in the fairing and out of the way. So among your mounting options for the acoustic unit, you'll notice that there are a couple of slots in here. We provide a couple of heavy duty zip ties. You can certainly put that through the unit zip tie it to a tube somewhere. What you want to watch out for on the acoustic unit is you don't want the, the horn open to weather. You don't want it facing into the wind. You don't want it in a position where rain could get down inside of it. So even if you have to face this toward the engine, this is 120 decibels. It's okay if it's not exactly facing out of traffic. So once you've found a location for the compressor and the acoustic unit, what's next is to connect the two. We provide you some hose for that. It's pretty simple. There's a spigot on one side, and there's a little buried spigot on here. When you route it through the frame, make sure you leave yourself a little bit of an extra gap. You never know if you want to move something a little bit afterward or things might move around as you ride, so don't cut it too short. So the next stage is wiring your sound bomb. We highly recommend our plug and play kit. It's a wiring harness that plugs in between the stock horn, connects to the battery, and facilitates a relay, which comes with the stock horn. The reason you need a relay is this horn takes a lot more current than your stock horn. The stock circuit can handle all of that. As you're wiring your sound bomb, pay particular attention to where the harness mounts to the chassis. Tie it down in places so it doesn't move around. Also be very careful of, of hot exhaust uh, components. You don't want to melt the harness. The last piece of the puzzle for the wiring on the sound bomb is this little relay. Doesn't want to be this way, wants to be this way. This is a weather resistant relay, not waterproof. Okay, so that's it. The last thing you'll want to do before you go ride is obviously test it. This is something you might want to do outside because, well, God, that's a loud horn.